Hello everybody, welcome back to another brand new Aviation Jack Rojo. Hope you're doing really well. So, today we're going to head back to Bristol from Belfast. Um, the flight time again is going to be pretty short. Um, our flight number on the way out of here is EZ442. And uh, we are flying the um, Uniform Zulu Hotel Alpha registration. We're going to pop this in both ends. There we go. And then we're going to click Generate Plan, like so. And then we go, here is our flight plan for the flight back to uh, Bristol. So we're departing Belfast on runway 25, which is the one we landed on. And we have a no-sid departure, so it's a straight-out departure. And we make a left turn um, out of our way through to Isle of... Or passing Isle of Man into Liverpool. Uh, not into Liverpool, but flying past Liverpool. And then we're going to head through uh, the west of England, through Wales. And then into uh, Bristol Airport, where we arrive runway 27, which is this one here. And um, we are on the Amre, is it Amre? Yes, Am Amra 1 Bravo arrival. Um, 59 minutes, apparently the flight's going to be 261 miles, um, 2527 departure and arrival. Let's export this flight plan now into vPilot and press save. And we'll also click fly now and connect MSFS. We're going to check our meta for the departure out of um, Belfast. So wind is 2013 knots, so quite windy on departure. Uh, clouds are broken at 1,300 and also broken at 3,300. Temperature is eight degrees, dew point is six, and Q&H is 1019. So we've got to keep an eye out for quite cloudy and windy departure, but uh, it should be okay. Uh, nothing too um, worrying there. Uh, let's have a look at uh, Bristol's meta as well. So much calmer winds on arrival into Bristol, 2408 knots. Um, overcast at 300 feet and then temperature is 10 degrees and dew point is also 10 and Q&H is 1026 so nothing really out of the ordinary there apart from the fact it's quite a low cloud base um, but anyway yeah apart from that um, let's get straight into the flight deck and start planning this flight plan um, this flight back to Bristol okay so here we are in the flight sim like I said in the previous video I said I was going to do back in the daytime um, so we could like a daytime flight out of, Brist um, out of Belfast and Bristol just so we can see the scenery during the daytime um, yeah, as you can see, quite um, well, a little bit of a sunset late afternoon here, so we'll have a sunset arrival probably. Um, actually, you might not, it depends what time it is. I think it's at 4 o'clock, so possibly, or 3 o'clock. Um, anyway, let's get into the flight deck and get this. Why can't I hear the sim? Well, that's strange. Two seconds, it's muted. That would be why. There we go. We can hear the sim later again now. So, external power on, batteries can also come on. IRs can come on as well, crew supply on, nav lights, seabot signs and no smoking signs. Emergency exit lights to arm. Uh, come down here, we're going to set this a TA, set this a 2000, like so. Uh, we can lock the cabin door right now as well. Um, let's go to the Atsu page and then the AOC menu and the init. We'll initialize data request. There we go, it's found it. That's all correct, good. And then we're going to go to the weight and balance page. And then we're going to do a total passengers of 120. And then we're going to start the boarding. Actually, sorry, OFP request first. There we go. There we are. Then we're going to start the boarding process now. Um, let's get the flight plan ready in the init page. So init request, make sure the fuel is okay. There we go. Um, so the block fuel today is 3.4. Then we'll do the rest of that later on. Uh, so the flight plan departure out of here is runway 25 and it is the no SID departure. So SID's none. Insert that. Um, that is all good. Get rid of this community. Sorry about that. There we go. Flight plan discontinuity uh, can be deleted. Perf page can't do that just yet obviously. Um, we can start doing the arrival just ILS 2.7. That's, and it's that one as well. So we can get that in right now, get that set and ready. Uh, we don't need a fire, so we can insert that. There we go. And press flight plan, and that is perfect. So let's set our MCP up over here. So we set this to, well actually before we do that, what we can do is we can file our flight plan. So our flight plan, we're cruising for level 250. So let's set that into our flight plan here. There we go, flight level 250. Uh, this will be like this until I set in our weights. Set this to VOR and VOR, like so. We can also increase the displays so we can see them a bit better. Uh, maybe do a bit down here. Do this. Um, I don't really change the FO side that much, to be fair. Might as well put on some lights up here. 
Um, as the fuel is already loaded, we can pop in the fuel pumps now. Um, I shall leave it on the boarding page and keep an eye on how many passengers we have on board. AOC, weight and balance, there we go. So 21 out of 120. Uh, let's turn on that EFB. Or the fly pad. Like so, and we'll click from sim brief and get that loaded. There we are. Um, the next page that really we want is this page here. Um, but yeah, that is everything we have to do, um, obviously, until boarding has completed. So until then, I will see you all once these 120 passengers have boarded the aircraft. See you in a bit. So boarding has now completed, so it's time to get things going. Get master switch and starting the APU going. Let's turn on the beacon light as well. Um, let's get the perf page planned. So do flaps one out of here and then up 0. 0. There we go. And then we're going to set our V1s, VRs and V2 like so. There we go. Um, so the second the APU has started, uh, we can get pushed back. For now, we'll just call the tug to us. Don't believe there's any ATC around. Nope. Not surprised. Hear the APU starting. So it's passing off this runway over here to our right, so not long taxi at all, thankfully. And the APU is available, so APU bleed on, external power off, and then we'll get the tug uh, going. So that's ignition start engine one, release the parking brake, and push back now. There we go. One camera angle. When should we start the left turn? I think they just follow the line. Look at that sun reflection though. Beautiful. We could have had some wing mirrors here, <laughs> as we can see behind us. Obviously it's a plane, isn't it? Not a car. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, as long as it's somewhat near the line. There, that should do it. We can just join on from there. There we go. Stop the pushback there. We'll start engine number two. Pull the parking brakes. Let engine two start. There we go. It's starting to rise. Did I get rid of the tug? Oh no, I didn't. Bye bye. Oh, it went. Usually it drives off. Didn't drive off that time. And engine 2 is available. So, taxi lights on, run with tunnel flights on, APU and APU bleed off, set flaps 1. Back to normal, ground spoilers armed, auto brake max set. Uh, we'll do a really quick flight control check. Full left, full right. Full up, full down, full rudder left, full rudder right. Perfect. Okay, and let's release mark and brakes and get a taxi in. So I put a bit of thrust in. There we go. And then all the way down to runway 25. It's just at the end here. A little bit foggy.
Alright, so we're nearly at the runway now. Let's get the landing lights turned on. We have to take off strobe lights on as well and the takeoff lights. We'll do a quick cabin check, press all and to right, config test. There we go. I if I could just up the volume of the sim a bit. There we go. Be a bit better. And let's get going. Oh, very misty. Bristol's even worse. <laughs> Just as remembered. Okay, great, let's go fifty percent. Stable Mantoga SRS runway. One hundred knots checked. V one, rotate. Oh, for that window already. Positive climb rate, gear up. Very quick take off that. And straight into the clouds. <laughs> What is it? I'm going to film the autopilot straight away just because it's a bit turbulent. I've got that tight left turn to do. I'll go speed check, flaps up. Oh, maybe not. That speed's dipping down really quickly. I've got to lower the nose. Fast climb, climb. Love when the strobe's flashing the clouds, it's great. And here's a left turn now. Let's increase the range a bit on the ND. And here we are on our way to Bristol. Let me start the clock, but you forgot. Look at that. The clouds do look a bit blurry, don't they? A bit fuzzy. Wonder why that is. Must be the new update. Like in the distance over here, because it's a bit, a bit pixelated. Right, disarm the ground spoilers now. Right, the current 6,000 feet, which is our transition altitude, so we we'll set the QH as standard at that point. And standard pressure. Pressure. That's a much better route. Do you remember last time, last video, it was like the route was like uh, 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 apart from this little bit here, but much better. Goodbye Belfast, goodbye Northern Ireland. 8,000 feet. And there we have 10,000 oh, 10, feet, there we go. Great, so let's um, see what lights can come off. The takeoff tax lights can also come off. Oh, and a one nine light. Um, landing light can be retracted from a turn off as well. And I shall leave it there, everyone. So um, I will see you all when close to top of descent. Uh, but until then, enjoy the little views I'm going to give you all. And I will see you all very shortly. Bye bye.
Welcome back to the flight deck. So we're going to start planning for the arrival now into Bristol. So we're going to go to flight plan. And I know we've got it set in, so double check it. So yep, ILS 27 on the Armour 1 Bravo departure. Go to the Perth page and we'll get in our details for the arrival, such as the weather. Uh, so the QNH in um, Bristol currently is QNH 1027. So I'm going to pop that in there. 1027. And then the current temperature is 10 degrees. And then the wind direction is 250 at 9. 9 knots, there we go. And 7000 is the um, transition altitude. And then the um, approach day will be 127, but I always add 5 knots onto it because it's always a bit too slow. So 8, 9, 0, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2 knots for arrival. Let's pop that in there. Check for notice communities, which is not, which is good. And then here is our flight plan, uh, the rest of the flight into the arrival back into Bristol. Uh, there's no ATC, so don't have to worry about connecting to anyone, um, which I suppose is not that great, but oh well. Um, yeah, anyway, I'll see you all when we're closer to top percent See you soon. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, welcome back to the flight deck. So we're just about to pass 6,000 feet now. We're going to put in the correct Q&H, which is right there. There we go. We're going to reduce our altitude to 5,000 feet, which we've already done. Let's reduce our range a bit as well. Actually, in fact, we'll do 3,000 feet. Um, speed, I would like to get the speed down just that bit more. Say to about 200 knots. Um, you can just about put flaps one out, I believe. It's not quite risky doing that, but yeah. Uh, landing lights can come on, take off and taxi lights on as well. Um, I see some flashing green and red lights down there somewhere. If I could see a plane, who knows? Um, yeah, no ATC still. Aha! Uh -huh. Here we go. This is the aircraft being difficult. So fun over the airport. Um, we'll go head in one four zero. So the airport should be right below us by the looks of things. Yep, there it is. And there's an aircraft. Two aircraft by the looks of it. Oh, three, four. Oh, there's a few aircraft on the ground here. There we go. So we're going to pop on the LS now as well, just to get that ready. Well, that's a nice little shot. There's a few aircraft on the ground. Obviously, those are static aircraft, but these two aren't. And yeah, so that's definitely interesting. Keep going down to 3,000 feet. Just reduce the aircraft. Now we'll go 180 knots. So it'll take time to get that down anyway. There we go. Lovely sunset arrival though, I have to say. That's my favourite time to fly in MSFS during the sunset. Just looks so nice. I've done the sun colouring so well. Or the sky colouring. Okay, lovely. So let's start the left heading. Start swinging it around. So about zero six zero should be good. Also, arm approach. Go two thousand feet. Two thousand and speed check flaps too. Swing it around free now. Say about two seven zero. Oh, what's that? Six miles out, we'll go one sixty knots. Actually, we won't do that much. Go 
330. Speed check, flaps 3 and gear down. And approach has been captured. Oh, look at that. Oh no, the sun's disappearing. Bristol traffic easy, 442 is 5 miles out of runway 27. If anyone's taken off, that should let them know. Right, bring the spoilers and we'll arm them. I'm going to do final landing speed now, not that one. Do another cabin check. Flight attendants, please prepare for landing. Here's that load cloud base coming in. And four miles and speed check flaps full. Oh, there's Bristol ground on now. One, two, one, nine, two, five. One thousand. One thousand. One thousand. Bristol traffic easy. Four four two is two miles out. Final approach runway two seven. One thousand. Hoping that is the correct one way for arrival. Traffic element 351 is our final uh, for our mechanical uh, film traffic. Still can't see the runway. There it is, coming through now. That is well nice. Five hundred feet. Four hundred. Full spot disconnected out of control. Three hundred. Two hundred. A few bits of traffic around. One hundred. Fifty. Forty. Thirty. Twenty. Ten, five. And touchdown. Reverse is green. D cell. Manual break in. Sixty knots. And reverse is stowed. Bring in the LS. Tied out straight away because he got ground on. Don't know if we're doing all that. Pretty. Bristol traffic easy 442 vacated runway 27. Contact ground now as soon as we get around the corner. It's a big ditch. 42 minutes, that flight was actually quicker than the one on the way. Right, stop the clock. And we'll do Bristol ground. Driving to accept the reboot by tax. 7-4, no problem. I accept the reboot. Just slow down a bit, I can just do it ADC. Oh, stopped. Bristol ground easy, 442 with you, uh, let's forget runway 27.
Bristol Ground, AZ442 with you, uh, requesting taxi stand, please. AZ442, Roger, Bristol Ground, taxi via Golf, Zulu, Hold Zulu, Q. Golf, Zulu, Hold Zulu, AZ442. There's an echo up front, that's why we're holding Zulu 2. <laughs> what was our landing rate? Minus 230? Yeah. Thought it'd be a bit better. Won't lie. Seven four, ready to taxi now. Topic four, Roger taxi to hold on point Alpha X ray, you got way two seven via Zulu. Hey Zulu Seven too. four uh, via Alpha to holding point two seven. With the easy jet over there. I'm not sure how that actually is. Easy 4 for 2, continue taxi to stand 2 via Zulu. Stand 2 via Zulu, easy 4 for 2. There we go, at least I can break. Bit of thrust, stand 2 was that. Yep, right in between these two aircraft here. Should be fine. Keep the taxi light on. Cyberg 4, unfortunately, no further ATC available. 1 2, come 1 2 2, just more here. Enjoy your flight, bye bye. Cyberg 4, thanks for your short service. Have a nice evening, bye bye. May as well just turn off the taxi light because we're taxiing. Onto the stand. Oh, that's the takeoff one. There we go. There's a Ryanair and there's that EasyJet and we're parking next to the EasyJet on this stand here. Stand two. Stand one. Ah. Oh. What's that? Oh, I haven't seen that before. Can't read it. Cyber, something like that. Oh no, we've got past it, we've got past it. Got too busy, got too distracted. Stand two, we go. And stop. Welcome to Bristol. Let's set the parking brakes. Engine one, engine two, cut off. External power on. APU and APU bleed off. Beak light can also come off. Uh, fuel pumps off. Actually, we'll turn on the dome light. IRs off. Cruise supply off. Bing bong. There we go, everyone. Welcome to Bristol. I hope you guys enjoyed this um, flight and this video. I will see you all in a future video. That's a really awkward angle. Um, like I said, anything you guys want me to do or want to see on this channel, do let me know and I'll add it to my flight requests. I always add flight requests, everyone's, because it's what you guys want to see. So yeah, do let me know and I'll see you all very shortly. Thanks all for joining. See you soon. Bye bye.